At this time here at WWE WrestleMania 38, Media Row is none other than WWE Raw commentator, Corey Graves. Corey, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you for having me. My pleasure, Corey. Uh, so I'm going to ask the fans, uh, I'm going to ask the question all the fans at Wrestling Inc. certainly seem most interested in. Uh, how close are you and Carmella to recreating the Edge and Lita live sex celebration that did a lot of traffic on the site it all depends on if or if she succeeds or not uh, this sunday in the fatal four-way women's championship match okay so you're saying she walks away with the gold on sunday there's a chance maybe we get to see the live sex celebration i mean wrestlemania the raw after wrestlemania ordinarily is bizarro world anything can happen sure. fans from around the globe wow. i mean i feel like if we're going to push the bar that's yeah. going to be the night to do it. so have you consulted edge about your desire to follow in his footsteps? I, I asked him if, uh, if he had any notes as far as camera angles goes or uh or different you know different ways to to light the situation sure. i mean he's a hall of famer for a reason i right. would absolutely be remiss to not consult the yeah. rated r superstar sure. um but i like to leave room for a little creative freedom on our own i don't want to just copy it i want to you know take it to the next level so if he's rated r maybe you could be like rated nc17 NC 17. yeah i feel like it's a little more socially acceptable the x just kind of makes people cringe but if you go nc17 like there have been a few movies that are suitable for public consumption that have that sure sure wow what a great start to this interview hey, i watch way too much cinema it's okay don't worry about it. hey we're all children of the 90s here That's i true. I think at least half this room is, at least. Um, so while well, we're talking about you and Carmella, you know, it's no secret you got cleared. You've talked about it, right? It happened like a year or so ago. A lot of talk about you having singles matches. But, man, it seems like couples in WWE, that's the way to go, right? It seems to be. It seems to be. But then again, you have to deal with Edge and Beth Phoenix, who I, I'm sorry, but I don't want glam slammed on my face. Sure. Uh, big fan of both of them. Love to watch them from afar. Yeah. Miz and Maurice might be a little bit more uh, attainable. Sure. Uh, I, would, I would never say never. I'll tell you where I think the money is. Okay, tell me. And I don't know how how feasible this would be. Okay. Bianca Belair Montez Ford. Hey, that's a money match to me. I agree. That's the I think that's the couple that everybody actually wants to see, sure. but instead they're getting Carmella and I. Yeah. So we're just gonna ride it till the wheel, wheels fall. How do you feel about the reaction and reception you've gotten to your show with Carmella so far? Uh, uh, it was actually shockingly positive. I was about to say. Yeah. I was expecting it's it's internet wrestling community, right? They yeah. hate everything. Sure. Uh, and we got our share of of disdainful comments and yeah. people telling us that. No one wants to see it, which makes me laugh because people love to reply, no one cares, no one cares, no one cares. But you're taking time out of your day to send a tweet. Yeah. It kind of pokes a hole in your in your story. But regardless, the, the overall feedback has actually been a lot of fun. And, and it's really satisfying to us when you have somebody who goes, this isn't anything that I would normally watch. Or I only checked it out because I was tired of hearing about it on Twitter. Yeah. And it's kind of funny uh, because we, we promoted it as such that it was going to be this sexy, edgy, but that was all by design. It was, it's, yeah. it's marketing, yeah. uh, just like anything else in the world, and it's kind of just a glimpse into our life. And uh, some people have seemed to enjoy it. Sure. Hopefully more people continue to enjoy it. And uh, if not, then I guess our lives suck and we're boring, and we should probably just... If your lives sucked and were boring, I don't think they'd have given you... We don't think sure. they suck. Other people think it sucks. Yeah, well, I mean, are you kind of over social media, though? I mean, I feel like you have a lot of not-so-nice things. I've got, I've got a very adversarial relationship with social media. Yeah. And I've gotten to the point now where I've realized it's, it's just almost not worth it. I enjoy a good argument. Okay. Even in real life. Like, yeah. I, I, I should have been an attorney. I, I like to debate. I was about to say, you have a real presence, man, when you talk. Okay. I appreciate that. Yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm a professional BSer. I mean, I could probably make more money as an attorney. Sure. But uh, at this day and age, I think everyone sort of realized that maybe social media isn't the powerhouse that it once was or everyone thought it was going to be. Sure. Uh, where, where people think, oh, well, if we get this trending, it's going to change the world. And that's not to say it never happens. And there are positive outcomes that, that have come out of that sort of thing. Sure. But when it comes to like the wrestling business, it's just, okay, hey, man, I'm sorry you didn't like that line. You don't like that I talk about my fiance. Yeah, but you get a lot of hate about that. So that. much. Yeah. And I, but my, my, my go-to with that is, all right, I'm not doing it to offend anybody, but more so, she's actually about to be my wife. Yeah. She's not offended. No. So why are you offended? Well, people seem to be offended by a lot of things these days. Yes, yes, Corey. they are. They sure are. Um, so